Why are Uber ratings important? Um, Uber ratings are, uh, is this a way for Uber to kind of uh, measure your performance? Because since they don't have, you know, uh, staff that are in um, your car, you know, like actual like managers that, that's how they're able to measure like feedback from riders. Maybe not all riders are accurate, but for the most part, the ratings are pretty, um, they're fair. I mean, sometimes people are not gonna be fair, but most people know that five stars matters and that they're gonna try to do the best job they can to give you five stars. And I feel like that there's gonna be some people who are gonna give you four stars and three stars, two stars and one star. It's kind of unfair that they're gonna give you one star um, and that they allow that. Because there has to be a reason why they're gonna give you uh, one star uh, when you're like a 4.90 plus driver. But you know, sometimes Uber needs to work on that because they allow you know, certain riders to, um, to do that. And I feel that um, it's, uh, I mean, it could be a flawed system, but I think that for, there's um, a better way to do it because sometimes like uh, when I was trying to rate another client um, a certain score, then they, they wouldn't let me. They were trying to tell me that, that I had to give a reason why and that they were gonna notify uh, the client of, um, why I was gonna give them a certain score if I wanted to give them uh, a four star So I think it's kind of unfair because then writers give give us three stars two stars and one star and then we don't know who said what and it's not very accurate in a way of like allowing a writer that could probably be a low star writer to give a high star driver um, a bad score so uh, but the rating system, well, it helps to kind of measure performance and that clients could give, um, they could give lower, uh, the clients could give feedback as well. And the feedback is pretty, um, it helps other riders to see it because riders will see the feedback and know uh, what type of driver you are. Because like last night when I was driving, one writer is like, I, I need to meet this guy because is this guy for real? Because all the good feedback that I got, he was reading it and he said he never reads it. And he was like impressed with all the stuff that he saw that people were uh, writing, you know, about me. And I feel like that, that they were um, seeing that, um, that was a really uh, a positive person that tried to make a difference and that people liked that type of um, uh, driver that was really personable. It doesn't always work that way uh, because a lot of the riders don't want you to always talk to them, but you have to know how to uh, know when to talk and when not to. It's not really easy to know this, but it's just that when you drive a lot of people, you'll, you'll figure it out that the ones that you should talk to and not talk to. I mean, you're gonna get your like four stars and your um, different scores. Um, is this that consistently it's gonna be like four and five stars uh, for the most part because, uh, but you're gonna get more five stars because a lot of cl uh, clients know that five stars is important to you. Um, I have a 4.91, but the highest ever has a 4.96, but that's hard to maintain. Because if somebody gives you a four star, it's gonna drop your score. If you get a bunch of four stars, if you have some bad weeks where you're getting, um, you know, if somebody gives you a three or a bunch of fours and you have like a 4.50 like week or 4.70, uh, you know, then yeah, your score is gonna drop. And you're gonna know when your score drops because you can monitor your score, but you can't do it in real time. Like Uber used to allow you to do it in real time where you could check um, those different scores. Uh, like in each moment you could like end a ride and then and then see uh, what you got like on the last ride and if they gave you something bad then you know that it was the writer that gave it to you but the thing is that you can't submit scores so you have to be sure when you submit something to a writer that you want to give them the score that they deserve 
Because if you submit something like give them a five star and you really wanted to give them like a two star or three star or even less, then you should be sure to do that because Uber now doesn't allow you to change the rating anymore. They said once you submit it, then that's pretty much, uh, it's accurate. Like where it's already set in the system and they will not allow you to change it. So you want to be sure that, that you, um, that you want to give that rider. It's important because it helps other drivers to know, uh, what type of rider they're getting. And if you give them a five star and they're like a one star because they like vomited in their car or they were just really rude or they just did so many things that were wrong, then, then it's important to be accurate with that score. And I, I think it's, uh, it's nice uh, for drivers to to take the time for the moment, even if they're rushing and they get another ride on the back end and they're trying to end that ride, it's always good for them to take the, the, the moment, like a few seconds to really, uh, to give a, a accurate feedback because the feedback is important for drivers to know if this, is, if this client is good or bad. Or uh, like, because if, if you get a client that's 4.5, 4 4.3, 4, then you're going to know that they've done some things that were not so good. And the drivers uh, reflected on that type of uh, experience. Sometimes things happen, you know, people get sick and if you automatically get sick, you're going to, drivers going to get mad because they're going to lose money and they're going to give it one star. And it could be like a really good um, client, but they just have one bad mistake and mm -hmm. then... When they get that, when they make one bad mistake, they um, they get a bad score, and then they're not going to be like a four point, you know, nine zero client anymore. But I think that it's important that um, that drivers do take the time. I mean, they only have a few minutes to to rate. Uh, but if you think that you had a client that was not so good, and maybe they were yelling at you, they were like backseat driving and really being rude, telling you to, to uh, speed, and there's all the things that they do, then make sure that you give them uh, a very accurate rating. And if they're great, then, I mean, we can't get feedback anymore. Like I remember when Lyft would allow you to give feedback, uh, we can't do that anymore. So I feel like that is, uh, the feedback is important that um, will help other drivers to know what the client did to give a certain score. Like why do they deserve this uh, score because they made a mess, but then Uber doesn't allow us to leave comments. So then other drivers can't see that feedback, but the client has more power to leave comments and other clients could see what other clients gave, uh, what type of feedback they gave. So it, it's, uh, it's a good way to um, really see what type of dry, uh, what type of client that you're getting? Just like last night when the guy, when I was driving the guy, he he saw that he's like he he was just really shocked to see that that there's actually a driver on Uber that does all this stuff, and uh, it was actually real because he talked to me and then he saw that I was this person, I was this person that actually did all this stuff and took the time to really um, make a difference for, for my clients because it's important that you do because it's, you're just not just a driver. You, you have way more value as a driver and your people will notice that. So when you do a good job, people will notice that you're, um, that you're a, a good driver. And it's good to, I mean, if you operate like a moral driver that people will see uh, through your score because they're gonna say I want to see this 4.90 or 4.95 driver because maybe they get drivers that are 4.80 or 4.7 or 4.6 because you're not gonna go below 4.6 because Uber warned a driver and you have to take a training program but I think that with the ratings the ratings a big thing that everybody knows that the ratings are important and drivers have gotten deactivated in the past based on the ratings that um, that if they got like a like one time Lyft used to deactivate drivers on 4.80 because 4.80 was um, was a score that was uh, would initiate deactivation back in 2013. It wasn't really fair that drivers were um, were uh, you know deactivated for that, and Lyft had a flawed system, and it was like more of the um, 
It was uh, it was unfair, and they would do it around the holidays, and they would just deactivate drivers. 4.80, boom, you're gone. They didn't care if it was like your birthday or Christmas. They would just get rid of you, and it, I think it was totally unfair. And a lot of drivers had to um, really have bad experiences with um, a lot of drivers had bad experiences with getting the 4.80 because they're driving a bunch of drunk people, and it was unfair that Lyft would, would uh, uh, I think, put so much emphasis on the score of 4.80 being like a low score when the score of um, 4.90 is hard to get because a lot of people would come out of the bars and they would just wouldn't be fair. And if they accidentally uh, hit like a one on accident that the, the client that was drunk is not gonna go and change the score and say, well, I need to go, um, go fix the score because I made a mistake and gave a one, they're not gonna care like we do as drivers, that we're gonna, um, if I made a mistake and accidentally hit a three or two, then I'm gonna go back and tell um, Uber, um, hey, I made a mistake and I need to change the score. Because you can do that. You could go back into the ride and go back to that client and say, you made a mistake and you meant to give them this score. Because you want to be fair. Because you don't want to be the a reason why that you know client gets a lower score or maybe something happens to their account. You just don't want to like, do things that are going to hurt somebody because you know that they need the, the ride and you know they need to, to use Uber to get the work and to do things that, um, you know, to go out and stuff and you just don't want to like give them bad scores just for no reason because you're having a bad day. So you want to be fair to the client because they rely on their account the way that drivers rely on their account to, to drive and make money. Like the client needs to take Uber to, um, to go to work and to do things like... Um, to, to go and, uh, uh, you know, go to the football games or basketball games or baseball and just personal things. Like, so business and pleasure, you know. And it's just that drivers have to be uh, fair with the scores. They can't, you know, they have to separate their bias opinions on things. And maybe sometimes things happen with some riders and they have a bad day. And they're not really feeling, you know, like they're usually like a, a good... A good writer but one day they're just having a lot of things go on so we have to understand that things do happen and that it depends on the situation when you're doing the ratings so the ratings are important on both sides but they're extra important on for the driver because the driver can get deactivated uh, they could go into a training program and they could, their account could get monitored so it's important it's it's highly um important i know they used important a little a few times but so i stress that you have to be fair uh, when you're giving clients scores, but then also the clients should be fair as well. So that's like a different topic that how riders, rider behavior on how they rate their drivers. But the ratings are very important. Sometimes the ratings can make us, um, it could drag us down, like we're, drag our moods down because we, we got a score that we didn't like. And now we're like not empowered to drive that day. We might stop driving because we got a, a four star or three star and we might just go crazy over it. But the thing is that you can't let that, you can't take it uh, personal that somebody gave you a certain score because they're, you know, like even if you're a great driver and things happen, you, you just can't really worry about getting a certain score because it's, uh, you know, just keep doing a good job and just don't really work, you know, uh, focus on the scores that other people give you because, um, because otherwise you're not going to get out there and drive. You just have to get out there and drive and do the, this. Be consistent with what you do and the way you treat people. And then the, the rider uh, will give you consistent scores. Is this that when you start to focus uh, or concentrate too much on like, oh, I got this score or my, my, my average, my overall score dropped? Because uh, eventually over 500 rides that are rated, it's going to like some of your old scores are going to drop off. Like say if you're dragging, like, you know, dragging around with a... 4.80 that you could always get it back up to a 4.9 if you can it's kind of hard though at times but it just really depends on how bad you want your score to be higher if it really reflects um it's a more like your gpa your gpa for uh uber uh, like like you're in school like the gpa of um of uh like a like what keeps you driving with uber um, just like when you're in school, if you get a certain uh, score, then you may get, you know, uh, academic probation or something. Well, Uber sets standards. And is this really that the score reflects? So I have a 4.91, but I had a 4.96 at one time. But I had been lower. There's times I was at a 4.80, and I worried because I got tough riders uh, during a certain time, like maybe a few years ago, and that concerned me. But 
I, I feel like I'm pretty consistent on my score because of the service that I'm always nice and and then I greet people. You know, I say welcome to Uber. Um, you know, and I say the, the client's name and then uh, I introduce myself and then I say, how's your evening doing? And they might say it's nice and I was like, you know, or I'll say good morning or good afternoon or happy Sunday, happy Saturday. So I kind of like use a different approach for each one. But when I do Uber Pool, I introduce all the riders to all the other riders and I make sure that everyone knows who's who they're riding with and that they feel uh, like respected that I introduce them. It's more of like a, um, an icebreaker of like when they're coming into your house, like they're like a guest in your home, which is your, your vehicle. If you respect your riders that way, they're gonna notice that and they're gonna really um, appreciate you for that. And they're gonna, they're gonna know that, that you take pride in being an Uber driver. Um, Cause being an Uber driver is not easy to do. Some people think like, oh, like you're an Uber driver. It's almost like you're, you can't really uh, make a living that you're just viewed like uh, at the bottom of the totem pole bit. Uh, it's actually not easy to be an Uber driver because you have to have a good driving record and there's some things that you need to have, like a good uh, background because you, you just can't be uh, somebody with a record or you know, like you've gotten in trouble for something before because they do screen all their uh, drivers and they are cautious a a about those things. Like, and you can't, you can't have a DUI and you can't have a bad driving record so, because you're driving people and they want to trust that you, are gonna, you have their best interest in mind. So, it's uh, just with the rating system, it's it's pretty accurate. But sometimes some drivers I feel that do get a 4.90, not 4.90 drivers. They just seem to get lucky, and people just give fives. But if you really have like a 4.91, 4.92, 4.93, then I think that you did a pretty good job because people, some people may not thought you were the best, but you did your best. You did your best, and that was, that's what's important. So don't really focus on the scores too much, but do do a good job when you're driving, but don't really allow it to affect uh, the way you drive and your mood or treating clients less because you're not they're not giving you certain scores and that you are uh, worried about. Um, Oh no, like I might get a certain score because you have to worry because there's times that, you know, they deactivate, uh, ride sharing companies have deactivated drivers over ratings, over feedback, over like maybe, uh, I, I think Lyft used a system before of a, uh, a flag system. When you started the first 25 rides got rated and if you got below a certain amount, like say 4.50 and it was below what they expected of your first 25 rides, then they're gonna flag your, your account. And then, and then they might give you an X amount of rides to get your account back up to like a 4.80. And if you say you got a 4.78 or something and you missed a mark, then they'll flag your account again. So on the third flag, they'll just get rid of you. And they'll, is this unfair of how they operated their system? And I have actual emails and certain things that show how Lyft uh, operated um, back in 2013 and how they got rid of drivers based on their, their flawed rating system. But Uber seems to be very accurate because I have been driving with Uber for almost four and a half years and they've been very fair. I mean, they're not perfect. Uber's not perfect, but I'm not going to talk bad about them because they have they've done like they, they will fix things. If you work, uh, sometimes you have to like go through like several Uber support people and before you get one that will really listen to you and help you. So it's, uh, it's not. It's not that they don't want to help you. It's that sometimes they have to be cautious because they are a, um, a, a corporation in a way, and they they can't be um, always giving you you know a certain amount like money for the like say a cancellation. So they have to be cautious because they are business you know like a, a corporation. So they have to watch out how much money they give out. So say if you had a problem with a cancellation that maybe you didn't qualify for one, they have to be sure. They can't just say, okay, I'll give you the $5. But if you push hard enough, then they'll give it to you because maybe you earned it. It's just that you didn't get it and you drove really far from somewhere else to get that, to, to pick up a ride. And then all of a sudden, like uh, the client wasn't even there and, and they never answered their phone and you canceled them and maybe the system kicked out that ride and you didn't get paid for that cancellation. So you want to always make sure that you got the cancellation and that, um, and also that you get all your tolls and uh, your tolls are, um, you just look at that because sometimes they do miss the tolls when you go across bridges. So they might charge, they charge the rider those, those fees, but sometimes they don't, they make a mistake and you, you have to pay attention to those things. Uh, but I think that the rating system is just a really, uh, an accurate reflection of, of a driver and how a driver uh, um, operates on the system. And it's more like, a, it kind of measures like a, their, their service and um, the feedback is really good to establish what, um, how, 
a driver treats their clients, and uh, the, which is it could be consistent with Uber's, uh, you know, like uh, policies and standards. Uh, there's, uh, it's not going to always be um, um, totally accurate. We're going to get scores that are not so good, but as long as we don't let it affect us and influence our moods, and we just do a good job, that we will get other scores that will will get better, and then we'll do a better job. We just have to do a better. We have to always do a good job, no matter what scores that we get. We just have to really take pride in being an Uber driver, and just really just care about your clients like your family and your scores will take care of themselves like your clients will notice your hard work and your service and that you'll you'll really leave a um, everlasting impression on on them when they use uber it could be their first time or they could have been using it many times and then when you go like say open a door they're gonna say whoa nobody ever opened a door for me before but then they did and that's important so um, if you have any questions about anything about the ratings, whether it's from client standpoint or from a driver standpoint, then then I'll I'll uh, answer you know I'll uh, discuss it more in detail, and uh, so thank you.